I'll never forget the first time I experienced the music of Kingdom Hearts 2. It was a truly emotional moment for me. I was around 19 years old and about to start college, just barely tipping my toes into the waters of adulthood. It had been roughly six years since I had played the first Kingdom Hearts, and I never could have expected what was to happen. Hearing the opening chords of Yoko Shimomura's newly refined, dearly beloved, brought tears to my eyes. Instantly, I was a 13-year-old kid again. A kid raised on Disney classics like Beauty and the Beast, Lion King, and Aladdin, and who had an undying affinity for all things video games, in particular RPGs. This music was able to transport me back to a place I'd almost forgotten, and at the same time prepare me for a new adventure full of twists and turns. This all occurring before I even picked up a keyblade. It was the power of music that initiated my journey. Sometimes we as people focus so much on the surface details, the graphics, the action, actors of games, that we sometimes neglect the background details like music when engaging in these interactive experiences. Music in games drives emotion and narrative as much as the latest and greatest graphics and gameplay. Take the music from The Last of Us, written by Gustavo Santolaya. The moment you hear the haunting guitar chords of the game's title screen, you're told solely by the music that you are about to experience a raw and honest portrayal of human emotion in times of desperation. The same can be said for the music of one of my favorite series, the God of War franchise. By listening to just this piece of music, you are able to decipher a few things. One, that the journey you're about to embark upon is going to be one of epic proportions. Two, that there may be a redemption theme present in the story, being that the music shifts between sounding ominous and heroic. And three, that you will be in the shoes of a physically imposing protagonist. It makes me extremely happy to see events like Video Games Live that showcase music from games sell out their annual tours, as it proves to me that more and more gamers are catching on to the fact that the music in these games are truly worth celebrating, which in turn will hopefully help legitimize games as a form of art. It is in the marrying of interactivity, visual splendor, and sonic immersion that allow games to take us to new worlds, meet new characters, and help guide us along in our own unique journeys.